do, 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 do. All right. All right. The microphone seems to be working. I do not have this on, though. Ah. Sorry, my hair probably looks like an absolute mess because uh, today's been kind of a mess. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? It has uh, been a hot minute, hasn't it, since we've uh, done anything like this? Not just a late night musings, but really a live stream in general. It's a, uh, I might have almost forgotten how it goes. <laughs> so, apologize if I'm a little rusty. But, you know, either way, these are chill anyway. It's not too uptight anyway. But, yes, welcome. Those of you that are filing in here, whether if we watching this thing, doing it live here, if you're watching the replay, either way, appreciate you coming by here. My name, of course, is Austin, and this is Fantastic Freaks, and at long last, we're back on a live stream with a little late night musings, as the title clearly suggests. We are filling up one of our tanks of water here, namely, kill the light here as I turn this over, this tank right here. Let's straighten that out. There we go. And I need to quit hitting that light. That's better. No one likes light glares. We're going to be filling up this bad boy, this 185 bow front, because earlier today, with the help of some fine fish rope, we got our sub tank here all plumbed up. Um, we are still not going to go quite all the way to the top here of the tank yet because um, there is still one piece actually that we're waiting on for the sump tank yet as we are uh, actually still needing a pump for our sump tank here yet but still thought it'd be a good deal to fill this thing up with water and uh, get the cycle going as I do have a couple well a sponge filter actually not quite a couple yet one of them I just got a day or so ago so I'm not gonna say uh it's ready just yet, but um, we'll drop one sponge filter in there. It's 120 gallon grade. Um, obviously, the tank itself, um, they said it was 185 gallons, but to be quite fully truthful and honest, uh, when I bought it, no one was exactly 100% sure. Um, I guess if somebody wants to run measurements. It, the tank is six feet long. Uh, the peak of the bow reaches 25 inches. Um, shoot, I forget what the exact measurement on the edges are. Um, it's about 18, 18 and a half inches, I want to say, on each of the ends there. And it's 31 inches tall. So either way, it's a big, big tank. And uh, we're going to need that big tank because that is going to be home to our Oscars over there. who are in that little corner tank over there. And I am sure to, uh, that they are more than eager to get out of there because I can tell you now, um, yeah, as you can see, they're darting around in there. They're starting to get a little restless. And, uh, perhaps you might remember my past video. I talked about like how they were getting along. Well, well, basically right as I got that video done. Yeah, they were, uh, yeah, they started bickering a little bit. Um, nothing too extreme, just basic ask and such. Uh, I have been keeping a close eye on it. Should any of them start getting a little too rambunctious then yeah i do have a separate uh tank down here that we can get one of them out of there until we can give them the bigger enclosure but uh yes so that is what's going on here we are finally uh getting some work in here on the fish room it has been quite crazy here which uh won't say all the details there but before we talk anymore or hear me ramble on Let's see what's going on in the chat here. I see we're getting pretty busy up here already. I see we got Skeddy. How's it going, Sarah? Have a good evening. I'm tuning in, or turning in, rather. I can't read sometimes. What can I say? Uh, so I'll catch you next time or see you in Davenport. Yes, I will be there in Davenport, as will uh, Mrs. Freak. She'll be coming with me there as well. Um, for those of you that may not know what's going on in Davenport, um, not this weekend, but the following weekend, April 7th, to be precise. So a week from this coming Sunday, um, the Quad City Fish Swap will be back in Davenport, Iowa, once again at the Gold Leaf Banquet Center. Um, to those of you that maybe watched the Hot Mess Express with Foxy and Dee Dee earlier tonight, or yeah, I guess technically in America everywhere, it's still technically Thursday. Um, if you watched that earlier here today, um, 
I know Foxy touched up on it a little bit. Uh, she and Brian both plan on heading that direction there next weekend. Uh, it's a whole bunch of awesome vendors from uh, fish. Uh, there's some crafts there as well. I mean, axolotls, cichlids, live bearers. I mean, I've gotten some puffers there. I've gotten some driftwood. I mean, uh, I actually got one of the, uh, you'll notice now that we have uh, four pieces of uh, mangrove root in there. That's because uh, I actually got one of the mangrove roots at the Quad City Fish Swap. So yeah, it's uh, it's going to be a good time. And if you can make it there, again, that is April 7th, not this Sunday, but a week from this Sunday. And that is at Davenport, Iowa at the Gold Leaf Banquet Center. If you can make it, I can tell you now, you will not be disappointed. Let's see, what else we got going on here? We got Jeff Kane joining us as well. Welcome aboard, Jeff. Someone I know that was there, also watching the Hot Mess Express there. Speaking of that a moment ago, <laughs> I love that username. Shady Grady, how's it going? Hope it's been a good night for you. Let's see here. Uh, have to head to bed, but wanted to swing by and just give a like and say hello. Hey, absolutely appreciate it, Shady Grady. Any bit you can give, the like button obviously always helps. Appreciate you. Hope you have a good sleep. Let's see here. One of the awesome moderators is here, Matt. How's it going, man? Missed you, man. Uh, good evening, he says. Good evening to you, Matt, a.k.a. Mr. Liquid Zoo Only Fins. Appreciate all you do for the fish fam, sir. Even though my big hiatus has kept me out of the loop here a little bit for the past, well, shoot, month, month and a half, probably. <laughs> Talk a little bit about that in a minute. Not in too much detail. Uh, outside in aquatics. Hey, y'all up with the late night crew. Right on. I mean, I figure at this point, you no, know, got to get something in here because it is, yeah, again, it's been a hot minute since we've done a stream here. Needed to, needed to break the hat. I think when I was setting this up, I saw that my last stream was actually at the Quad City Fish Swap back in January. And I mean, yeah, we're just a few days away from April now. So, it's been, yeah, actually about a little over two months now since we've done a live stream. Uh, not quite that long since we've done a video or a short or anything, fortunately, but been too long nonetheless. Scuba Stevo. Hello, Stevo. Hope you're having a good one, man. Looking down here. Who else we got here? Um, I see we got the Zen Ginger. Welcome aboard, Zenny. Welcome aboard the Super Mod, one of my other awesome moderators here. Hugs to Jessica and you. How are the crew? Here's are doing well. Um, most of the fish are doing all right. I got a couple of tanks where I'm battling something. That's what happens when I'm out of the house here a lot over a month span and unable to give, I guess, lack of a better way to say it, when I'm out of the house a lot and unable to give uh, the full proper care that some tanks not only need but sort of demand. It, you run into problems, but trying to correct those and uh yeah other than that nothing too detrimental right now most everyone's good good you see mac here of course he's uh looking to get some camera time here he's probably also wondering uh if i can feed him again <laughs> see here uh matt well obviously you see mac the mabu puffer here in the tank here um we also got uh Two dozen cardinal tetras in there. We also got, um, I'm trying to remember exactly what it is. Uh, it's a little over a dozen rummy noses and about a dozen gold tetras in here as well. Uh, basically, three different kinds of tetra. Oh, and I guess technically three black neon tetras because last time I was at the Quad City Fish Swap, someone just said, I really just don't want to take this home with me. And I figure, you know what? What the heck? Sure. You're just willing to hand them over. I'll take them. We'll throw them in there with the other Tetris. <laughs> and it's gone well. Let's see here. Do, 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 do. Looking through, looking through. Hey, speaking of Peplin a moment ago, welcome aboard, Brian. Thank you for being a member for 19 months on the uh, P Puffer tier, according to Fish Fam Link, the comment I see below you. Greatly appreciate it, Brian. All the extra support here. I know that can sometimes. Uh, be not as easy to do, especially when a channel can be dormant like mine has here lately. I know I've said it numerous times, but hopefully this time things are finally actually for real calming down so I can get back to making some content again. I've been missing this. 
Stephen P. 2003, welcome aboard. We got Mr. What Your Plants here on top of it. Perfect. I still tune in there every once in a while, even though I'm not really able to comment on streams a whole heck of a lot anymore. Still catch you know, What Your Plants, of course. Always like listening to Corey once in a while. Of course, Corey, I'm going to go up there. Hot mess. Uh, talking about, uh, oh, I just had the other one. Oh, yeah, Rico. I know he does it. Uh, Craft Ed tuned in a little bit on that here tonight while I was uh, working on some stuff here yet. Uh, but finally, it's slowing down a little bit. It's uh, still a busy time, but fortunately, uh, not as bad as it was. Always love all the live streams, though. And just even if I can all, can't really comment, just listen in once in a while, it's still good. We got Mexicali. Welcome aboard. Hello, Austin. I'm lurking from my fish room. Well, thanks. I'm uh, going live from the fish room. <laughs> Welcome aboard, Mexicali. Hope that uh, it's been a good day. Uh, we also got Coro. Oh, hey, where's my notification? What's the big idea, huh? Good question. That YouTube sometimes does a very crap job of giving a notification. I would know because I didn't get the notification to remind me of Ed stream until he was a little over a half hour in it. And I uh, got to say, when YouTube does that, I am not a fan. <laughs> I want to try to be there more often, but All right. Well, that's not quite right, but uh, let's see. Well, I would not doubt it being uh, over a thousand one hundred pounds, though. By the time it's uh, full of water, though, I would not doubt that, though, at all. In fact, I was thinking it might be closer to 1,500 or over. So those of you that, anyone that wants to do like the math on a bow front tank, again, the tank here, well, we'll back it up here. Hold up. I'm not. So why do I keep holding that at an angle? I'm not sure. And I keep bumping the light. That's also annoying. So this tank is six feet side to side. It is on the ends here, the Edges of the tank are about 18, 18 and a half inches. It's one of those two. I can't fully remember. But the peak of the bow there reaches 25 inches from front to back. So those are the exact measurements of the tank. Um, I'm not sure if there's an internet calculator to do a bow front. I'm sure there is, but I haven't found one yet. I haven't cared much to look. I've just been kind of like, you know what? I get it. It's a big tank. So I'll just do it that way. But if somebody wants to crunch the numbers, there you go. We got Whip's World. What is going on? I saw Whip there also at the uh, Quad City Fish Shop actually in uh, January there. Hope to see maybe there again, Whip. I know we got some other members of the Fish Fam going there. Would be awesome to see you there again as well. Coral there once again. Let's see who else we got in here. Do, 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 do. Oopsies. The chat jumped way down on me. I didn't want that. Oh, yes, Matt. Um, unfortunately, I did. Well, I'm I'm happy I heard about it. I'm not happy that it happened, to clarify. Um, but yes, I did unfor unfortunately uh, hear about Myrtle. Um, I don't exactly remember from whom or where. Uh, I believe somewhere on Facebook. It might have been a live stream as well. But uh, um, yes, I, ha I did hear about Myrtle. Um, Needless to say, um, it was shocking when I heard that. It was uh, quite, I mean, I know big part of the fish fam. Um, I've seen him on a lot of my live streams in the past year as well, as well as commenting on some of my videos before. I mean, heck, I remember Aquarium Cop uh, still uh, commenting on some of my earlier videos, but and that's a different subject. But um, yes, I did hear about Myrtle. Um, Hard to believe, man, almost two weeks ago at this point. Has not felt like that long, though, man. It, uh, I did hear about that, and yeah, I, uh, sometimes you just don't have words for things like that, and it's other than it sucks. You, you never know when the, you never know when the clock strikes zero. That's something I was, I learned at a very young age. I won't, I'll spare you all the details on how, but 
I learned very quickly that, yeah, you just never know when the clock strike clock strikes zero. And it's, uh, yeah, it's very sad about Myrtle. I, uh, obviously prayers for all this fish fam, his friends, the family there. Um, it's a bummer to put it to about as simplistic and gentle of words as possible. But yeah, I, uh, did hear that very unfortunate news. Um, <laughs> yeah, Matt, why are you bringing down the moon, man? Uh, I was excited. I was going to do this live stream be like, yeah, we're filling up a tank. We're getting a big new home ready for the Oscars. I'm excited. And then you got to remind us on Myrtle, like, hmm. Uh, but yeah, jokes aside, it's, it's very sad to hear about that. I mean, obviously death is, uh, it's never good when you hear that kind of news. Uh, let's see what else we got down here. Do, 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 uh, Coral, yes, it, it is important whether or not it's fun news or not. I mean, alas, I mean, yeah, I mean, if I wasn't in the loop on something like that, I need to quit shaking this table. Y'all are going to think I'm in California because it's going to be like an earthquake or something. But, uh, I mean, yeah, if I wasn't in the loop, I mean, yeah, I'd want to be. I mean, I never got to, I don't, or did I see him at Aquashella? I don't think so. I don't think I actually got to ever meet Myrtle in person, but I mean, whenever I heard people talking about him on live streams, heard nothing but good things. So, I mean, uh, sounded like an, a very awesome guy that I probably would have liked to meet, but that's that's the thing. Like I said earlier, you never know when the clock's going to strike zero or midnight or whatever this saying is. But anyway, I, I don't want to bring down the mood here too much. We're <laughs> getting a little depressing here. But see here. Uh, Shady Grady has become a new member. Thank you so much, Shady Grady. means a lot. But um, Let's see here. Uh, Fish Family Anchor, can someone let me know what uh, tier level Shady Grady Grady joined. I would love to know there so I can give him the full proper thank you. But means a lot there. Thanks a lot for uh, showing the little extra support here to the channel. Means a whole lot. It's never expected, but always greatly appreciated. Thank you so much. Um, what else we got here? Do, 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 do. Um, there's Zen. There's Coral once again. We got Stephen P. Whole bunch of chit chatting. Uh, here's a new guy. We got Big Steve, the Glass Box Creations. Hello, hello, hello to you as well, Steve. Hope it's been a good one. All right. Doot, doot, do. Going down the chat. Doot, doot. Uh, Zen, thank you. So uh, Shady Grady has joined the Pea Puffer tier. Greatly appreciate it, hey, Shady. I mean, hey, I mean, I don't mind how much money people will give there. Whether it's the Pea Puffer tier, the Figure 8 tier, or... It's all greatly appreciated, just the same. Thank you so much for uh, joining the Pea Puffer tier, Shady. means a lot to get just that little extra support. Love that. Let's see what else we got here. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, inside or outside in aquatics. I keep messing up the out and the in. I am so sorry. <laughs> outside in aquatics. Yeah, I got to talk in my uh, turtle voice here. Shout out to people that get the reference. Dude, I love the woody roots in the tank behind you. Oh, I promise that's not a high impression. That is a crush finding Nemo. Probably a very poor impression, but alas, there we are. Um, yeah, um, specifically, those are mangrove roots. I got uh four of them in total in here. Um, I'm not sure how terribly much longer I'm gonna be able to keep it in there because Mac here is about a foot now, so I mean he's I did measure that most of those are about 18 inches back there. Some of them stick out to about 16-ish or so, but at the same time, I mean, it's, uh, yeah, it's still okay for now, but at some point before too terribly much longer, I might have to reorient or get rid of some of the uh, mangrove roots out of here, which is kind of a bummer because, yeah, I like it too. And the Tetras every once in a while, it's really cool to see them swim through there once in a while too, which is kind of the big reason why I thought of the whole idea. Cause I always thought in case he ever gets a little, uh, uh, 
too rambunctious or something to take after the Tetras. They got places where, you know, he won't be able to swim through and chase him that much. Not that I think he'd be able to catch him that easily because, as we all know, Tetras are very quick swimmers. And uh, puffers aren't, you know, snail slow, but they sure aren't as fast swimmers as Tetras. <laughs> Um, whoop. all right. Uh, Coro, those are actually, yeah, those are real wood. Those are real wood. Um, Coro, uh, let's see. I, the, I, no, zoom out. Yeah, actually, funny enough, uh, Coro, that's exactly, uh, where three of these came from. Three of these, of course, I got from the Catfish Cataclysm when we went up to, uh, yeah, that shindig up in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, or not not Milwaukee, Madison, rather. But, well, closer to Madison. Um, yeah, three of these actually did come from ZoomEd. So, yeah, that's actually exactly where I got them. All right, let's see here. And hopefully, after a while, we can make this tank look amazing. And what would also be amazing, if I could hold this camera upright the first try. But we'll, uh, baby steps here. We're getting back in the groove of things. But yes, we're going to fill this thing up with water. And then after that, yeah, I am uh, probably much to the dismay of the Oscars. I am probably going, I am going to take the uh, sponge filter out of their tank so that we can try to jumpstart this cycle a little bit. Um, we do have another sponge that I am going to put in there too. And don't worry, the sponge filter is not their only source of filtration. Um, we do have a tidal... Uh, or a CCAM 110 on there as well. That's also doing the job. You know me. I love the overfilter. Well, I don't want, like saying overfilter because then it makes it sound like it's uh, a problem. I like to filter the heck out of my tanks because <laughs> I want to sit and enjoy them. And I don't mind doing the water changes and the maintenance, but, you know, don't want to have to do it more than I have to because you get the fish to sit and enjoy them, not to just work on the tanks. But anyway. Sure, I saw someone else just come in here. Uh, I'm just Legacy. Presuming that's you, Melvin. Welcome aboard. Good to see you. 17 people watching here as we approach 1030 here. Awesome. Well, guys, um, funny enough, of all the things that I did do and all the things that I've done here in the fish room, I must admit, still haven't gotten the utility sink fully connected here yet what happens when the plumbing in this house is all sorts of jacked up and uh, alternates between cast iron pipe and uh, copper pipe. It's uh, kind of a pain in the arse, but alas, we will, uh, at some point I need to figure out a system because yeah, it's, uh, it's a little uh, monotonous the way we do it right now, but alas, water from the hose, we'll figure it out. Here we are not putting the Oscars in there today, so in the end we just need uh, we just need to put water in there. Um, as we all also see, obviously, we already got the uh, substrate in there. Kind of going with the salt and pepper look here. Um, I almost lied on my previous video. I think I may or may not have said that it was my only one. That is a lie, actually, because I just remembered that both of my brackish aquariums actually have the salt and pepper look as well. My green spotted in that 75 over there, as well as the figure eights that are on the other side of them also have the salt and pepper look. So, uh, yeah, I was wrong about that. <laughs> ah, so it is you, Melvin. Okay, I figured. Every time I see the legacy, I always feel like, okay, got to be Melvin. And all righty. Oh, I have yapped now for a whole, oh my gosh. We have gone almost 25 minutes of me just yapping, yapping, yapping. Oh boy. Yeah, let's get the water rolling here. It's also going to be very interesting on how we're going to be able to do this because <laughs> I also currently do not have lids quite yet for this tank. Um, I'm probably just going to get some polycarbonate or something. Well, here, while I'm talking, give you a grand view of the tank here. See Mac and his buds so all swimming around. What I'm going to do at some point is that I might just get polycarbonate lids for this one because uh, obviously it's not too easy to find uh, glass lids for a 185 bow front tank or whatever the heck it is, um, let alone curved glass lids. So 
thinking I might just get some polycarbonate, try to get some stuff to weigh it down on it as well. Because uh, obviously we don't want the Oscars jumping out. Um, of course, we're going to add the five silver dollars and take them out of the 240 to throw them, well, not literally, of course, but put them in here for Oscar as well. And then uh, maybe something else down the road here. Who knows? Maybe if this tank cycles fast enough before next weekend, um, might try to get something else to go in here with the Oscars and silver dollars, but one step at a time. All right. There's the hose. Things are almost falling on my head. I don't want them to. Oh no, we got a kink in the hose. I don't want a kink in the hose. We must get rid of the kink in the hose. All right. Maybe not have the hose that low in the tank, or we are going to really, or we're going to cause a crater in our um, uh, sand. Not that that's the worst thing, but I'd rather not. All right. Come here. All right. Um, we're going to take the heater out for now. We can set that up later. Don't know if I'm going to just use that one heater. I might just get, I might just use it for now, just so we can heat up the tank to where we need it. Um, currently, we have a 500 watt heater that actually I've always used as backup in either my uh, 150 or uh, 240. Um, I don't like to use a heater that usually takes up that much wattage. I think that's very inefficient, usually, if you get a 500-watt heater and they say, well, that can usually do maybe up to 100 gallons. It's like, wow, that sounds stupidly inefficient. But... All right. Oh. Well, now we got this all squared away. Right. Let's tilt that down just a little bit, see if we can douse out some of that light. All right, y'all. Things are about, about to get a little wet down here. <laughs> Water away. All right. Uh, Matt, the uh, green stuff there is uh, plastic plants. I haven't decided if I'm going to keep them in there or not yet. Um, obviously, Oscars don't have the best track record, though, with uh, real plants, as they tend to get dug up a lot. Um, I'm also not sure, even if I do keep the fake ones in there if I'm going to have that many, but we'll see. <laughs> uh -oh, did I turn the water pressure up a little too much for this hose? Yeah, just a little bit. We're going to get a little bit of a kink. There's a way to do this. There we go. Aha! That'll stop it from kinking. Uh, 
Sweet. All right. <laughs> it's all good, Matt. It's late. My eyes sometimes stop working at night, too, as does my brain and a lot of things sometimes, honestly. Woo, I see we got some of the sand already starting to rise up on us. I did wash out the, all the sand there earlier because, uh, well, if you were around on my channel, like at the very tip beginning, you will know that once upon a time, I briefly, and I stress briefly, did have a Lake Malawi cichlid tank. Um, it was actually my 55 gallon where the Amazons are. It's exactly where they were. Uh, yeah, a yeah, little too small for that. Uh, you know, you live and you learn. But um, yeah, still had that sand left over here. So uh, a lot of that is going in here now, uh, which is crazy to think that that sand was sitting down here for about three years. And like I said, don't worry, we wash that stuff very thoroughly because <laughs> we don't want anything, uh, any dead bacteria or at least harmful bacteria to, uh, you know, put a damper on our, us uh, getting this tank up and rolling. Mm. Oh, yeah, tonight's drink of choice, to, ladies and gentlemen, Wild Cherry Pepsi. Not my first option, but what I saw first. <laughs> see, there is a basketball game going on in my interest. We'll have to see how that's going. I know at halftime it was not going uh, anywhere as well as I wanted it to. I see in the second half they are still losing. Of course, I am talking about Iowa State. They are playing Illinois in the Sweet 16. I won't uh, say too much there because I know not all of us are sport fans. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Whoop. Chat jumped on me. Sony G, welcome aboard. Hey, Austin. Hey, you, Sony. Welcome aboard. Wow, that's actually filling up pretty fast. Here we go. We'll turn the camera around, let y'all see. Yeah, that is, uh, that's going fast. <laughs> of course, we already know that it doesn't uh, leak because, of course, we did a live stream. Uh, I'm not sure how long ago that was, but we did do a live stream to leak test this. And I let this thing sit full of water for a little over a month and not had a single issue. Um, just as a reminder, though, we will not fill it quite all the way to the top. Or at least not up there to the grate on the top of the um uh on top of the um uh shoot, what is that called? Over the overflow. Jeez. The because again, we don't have the pump on there, and the last thing we need is our sump tank to overflow. Not that I think it would if we put a little wa or barely over the top on there, but alas, yeah, let's just not mess with it. <laughs> Oh, Melvin, you're a Fighting Illini fan? Ah, I actually got to watch them a little bit while they uh, played in Omaha last weekend. My uh, wife and I, we went, oh, well, that's part of the, what kept me <laughs> moving was self-entertainment, I guess. My wife and I, we went to uh, the uh, March Madness uh, NCAA tournament. It was in Omaha, and uh, usually that's just one thing. We'll maybe try to hit a game, one of the sessions or something, just because, you know what, what the heck. But obviously, Iowa State was also playing in Omaha, along with your fighting Illini. And uh, we were there for the first and the second round. And uh, we had an absolute blast and drank lots and lots of bush lattes with a lot of Cyclone faithful, including some Iowa Hawkeye and Illinois faithful as well. <laughs> I will say that about the Illini fans. Fun bunch. Fun bunch. Talked with a couple of them and got to hang with a couple of them in uh, downtown Omaha at some of the 
bar and grills in town. And yeah, fun bunch. Let's see. If you fill the sump without the pump in there, you know there's not much water in event of a power outage. Yeah, that's... Uh, <laughs> we also have an emergency deal on there too. But yeah, I have thought. Fortunately, uh, well, we're also making sure that a lot of our uh, uh, spigots are also right up above the surface. Because yeah, in case a power outage does happen... Obviously, the last thing I want is a train is my tank to get drained way down because, uh, yeah, it's one thing that if we don't have filtration in a tank, it's another thing if we don't have water. But uh, fish can deal a little bit without filtration, as we all know. But without water, they're not going to make it too far. <laughs> but no, yeah, we are uh, we have uh, kept that in mind. So yeah, we'll. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, we're taking some precautions that, so hopefully if we do have a power outage, it hopefully things can be, still can be just fine. But we'll see. Uh, Melvin, yeah, born in Illinois, Chicago. Okay. Uh, Pittsburgh is the second home. Pittsburgh was also hosting the NCAA tournament. Actually, they had Creighton there, who, funny enough, was the arena that we were watching basketball at. And, of course, they also made the NCAA tournament, and we were watching them all the way. Well, in Omaha, while they were playing in Pittsburgh. <laughs> Thought that was kind of funny, but uh, was raised in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, most of the life. Nice. I'm sorry about the Chicago part. I kid, of course. That's my Packer fan talking, but <laughs> Chicago's all right in some parts there. Wife really liked the, uh, well, while we were there for uh, Aquashella, Chicago, we uh, took a little boat cruise on the Chicago River, learned about some of the buildings. In Chicago, although she really could care less about the building part, she just wanted to go on a little boat cruise on the river and see some sights and such. That's all she really cared. Same thing while we were at the Catfish Cataclysm and took a boat cruise out to the Great Lake of Michigan. Well, Lake Michigan, I guess. She, uh, I don't think she cared a whole lot about what the tour was about. Um, unless it's a haunted tour, then sometimes we're like, okay, yeah, this sounds interesting. Let's do it. But most of the time we'll learn, listen to some of the interesting facts, but for the most part, yeah, we just kind of go there for the cruise and mostly the sightseeing. Uh, let's see, uh, Sony G, uh, the plywood tank. Um, unfortunately over the past, oh, month, month and a half progress on that has been kind of minimal. Um, I did get a sheet of plywood that we can, so we can hopefully start building it up. Um, well this first sheet of plywood that I got to cut first is going to be like the, uh, distributor sheet to where, you know, before we put the actual first sheet for the actual tank itself. Um, so I guess to explain the first sheet, yeah, it's basically going to be on top of all the bracing that we made earlier. Of course, you all saw me build that earlier. Um, this is going to help basically distribute the weight throughout the tank even more. And then we're going to put another piece of plywood on top of that piece of plywood to actually start building the tank itself, which do get a piece of plywood to make the distribution part, but, uh, Unfortunately, progress on that has been a little minimal. Within the next month or so, I want to get that going again. But uh wanted to get this going here too because, yeah, after I saw that the Oscars started bickering with each other, it's like, okay, uh, Finley has no one to bicker with in her tank. Uh, definitely don't want to wait too terribly much longer on her. But at the same time, yeah, don't want the Oscars fighting to death. <laughs> Uh, whip, how large? How is that large capacity? No name. Canister holding up. Any issues? Um, 
not fully sure what you're talking about. Whip, maybe I'm just having a brain fart here. But uh, yeah, all the canisters. I guess if you're talking about the 510 here, yeah, the canisters are holding up pretty good. They're all still uh, up and running. I've only, I just realized that I think earlier this week now, I've officially had this thing running for, I think, a little over a year now, which is nuts. I still at times feel like, like I have phantom pains. <laughs> of uh remember every time i look at it remembering how much of a pain in the backside it was to bring this tank down the stairs um to those of you that don't know this tank's exact length from tip to tip is about eight foot one inch and uh i think it was three eighths or something while my porch the front part of the the front room that of the house that basically leads to the stairway um allows all but just eight foot two inches and I think it was like nine sixteenths something like that um very very close not a whole lot of room to breathe it was yeah it was an absolute chore to get it down here but yeah every time I come down here it uh it still looks pretty sweet but it's the most fun I never want to have again <laughs> no, don't think I want to bring a tank of that magnitude down those stairs like that anytime too soon yet even with it being a year later <laughs> but yeah everything's holding up the sponges all still are doing great two canisters are still both doing solid i've i think i've only had uh service both of the canisters one time each but again of course that's because we have an fx5 on there as well as uh, the pond canister is graded to do over 1,200 gallons by itself. So, I mean, yeah, we got quite the artillery in terms of uh, filtration on there. So I'm still kind of surprised that they've held up as well, though. I thought I would have had to still do maintenance on them a little more frequently than what I have. But, nah, they've uh, they've done pretty good. Better than I even expected. <laughs> All right, turn this around. Oop, one of my lights on this camera are about to go out. That's no good. All right, guys. Yep. Turn that camera over a bit. There we go. Maybe. Come on. Yes. All right. We're, that's not the best perception, but we are about halfway full on this. Yeah, maybe just a pin. Well, I guess if we're only going to like just below the grate, yeah, we're about halfway full. Oh, Coral, a man could dream, <laughs> but uh, I have, I'm not going to lie. I have daydreamed that before. The solution is to build a second basement connected to this one via tunnel and second basement can have a loading bay and which to lower stuff down. I mean, I can tell you this much. Um, well, down the road, for those of you that don't know, my wife and I do plan later on to, uh, knock down the current house that we're living in and eventually build a new one in its place. Um, how soon is that? I don't know. Cause every time it seems like we're about to finally get the plan moving on that and, uh, finally make some headway on making that happen. Life throws us a curveball that delays that again or delays us towards building up to that. But, oh, well, we're slowly building up to it anyway, but Alas, it's still, uh, I do plan to build a much bigger basement than what we have now because, uh, yeah, I, uh, I have some big plans that before my, before I get tired of this hobby, which is no time soon, um, there are some things that it's like, yeah, I want to do this. I want to do that. Some of which include, uh, I want to tank in the four digits. Like, I know it's not the first time I've said this on the channel. I've said it a handful of times. But as I said before, I want a tank that's like a thousand gallons or bigger. And unfortunately, based on, uh, maybe unfortunately isn't the word for it, but based on everything else I have down here, yeah, a thousand gallons is probably about as big as I can get down here, which is still obviously to a lot of people 
absolutely massive. Unless you're like me and you watch Jeremy and Aquarium Domain and watch him build a 4,500-gallon tank. And then you really look at 1,000 gallons like, that ain't crap. <laughs> Still, a thousand gallons, it's like, well, you got to take your steps up there. And honestly, someday, someday, probably not until we would get the new house, not until I get a new basement, thus ideally the new fish room at that point. Who knows how far away that is. But at some point, I want to even see if it's possible to build a plywood tank in the five digits, like 10,000 gallons or bigger, which... Maybe possible, maybe not. My guess is that if you did that, you'd probably have to go more for length than height. Because if you go for height, you're probably going to have a piece of glass that's literally going to be impossible for a man to hold, let alone put in place. But something like that. Um, To be honest, Coral, we haven't really thought overly deep into that just because it's at least a few years down the road, at least. Um, but. Well, I will say that our goal is definitely is that we definitely want to at least get the plan in progress, like start building the new house by the time we're hoping before 40. And I mean, actually, this coming April, I'll be turning 31. So there's a little time, but alas, uh, yeah, you know, we'll get there. <laughs> Good things come to those who are waiting, you know. No one said it's ever going to just come to you like that. Good things are worth waiting for and working for. And, well, we'll eventually get there. And eventually, I got to quit hitting this dang table. <laughs> I'm talking while also trying to keep an eye on the tank here. We're about two-thirds full there. All right, let's see here. Oh, well, that'll happen in your whole life. Sometimes you just need to do it and hope it works out. Uh, just spent a ton of money on clearing my Tennessee land. All right. Uh, just just to come home and find out I spent 15 k on a new septic. Ouch. Yeah, that's how life works, unfortunately. Yeah, and septics aren't aren't cheap. We've, uh, well, y'all know, we've had uh, some uh, sewer deals with our uh, drain here a couple times, and well, that's what happens when you have a house that's surrounded by a multitude of trees. We And believe me, we have a lot of trees surrounding us. I mean, there's literally a forest up by our place. I mean, we also have two and a half acres. So, yeah, you know, you're going to run into issues. But we knew that when we got this place. We knew that there was work to do. But it's also come a long way. But, yeah, eventually we'll get there. It's just, I mean... I can't say everything that has gone on here too. I mean, part of it too is just obviously, I mean, my fish keeping hobby is one thing. And the thing that is also a bummer on that though. Oh, and I, bummer is probably not even the right word to use on it is that, you know, I want to put content out more often, but based on everything else I do, like in terms of the day job, that's also very time demanding. As I've said, a dozen times or better on here. It just, what kind of sucks about it is that it just doesn't let me. Like, and I know YouTube punishes channels that can't do it uh, consistently. And I'm, I mean, shoot, I can only dream of like, you know, what maybe things could be if I you know, could upload more regularly. I mean, not that it bothers me that I can't. I mean, it is what it is, but. Just that, but also knowing that, you know, obviously with what I'll do down here, I mean, it ain't cheap to feed all the fish. And I know YouTube makes a little bit of stuff on the side here. Enough, you know, to where we're like, yeah, we want to keep it around. But yeah, some other things that just, like I said, I can't speak of all of them on here because uh, 
some of them get a little personal with me and the life there. But yeah, last month and a half, especially just life has thrown some nasty curveballs, man. It's <laughs> it has been a little crazy. Garden of Eater, Grant and Shelby, welcome aboard. Good to see you. We're filling up a we're filling up a big beastie here tonight. Specifically, a 185 bow front. I should actually double check real quick, see where that bad boy is sitting in terms of proximity to the vent up there because it's got to be getting close. Ooh, and it's starting to fog up my glass. Well, let's see here. We got, oh, well, we got a little time, a little space there yet. Oh, yeah, they got it on the side too. Awesome. Oh, yeah, I'd say we got at least another six inches before it would start touching it. All right. All right, that's not a bad deal. <laughs> My plants are floating. What is this? Yeah, there you go. They've all floated to the one corner. <laughs> Apparently, we'll have to anchor them. I guess that's not too big of a deal, but. Do, 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 do. Caprice, welcome aboard. As we uh, fill up this uh, big bow front tank, but I mean, so I mean, yeah, I guess I kind of went on a little bit of a spiel there too, but uh, just some of the things that have been going on, why I've also been so absent from my channel here lately in terms of like live streams, videos, really the whole works in general. I mean, obviously, yeah, the day job, um, lots of state tournaments were going on. Obviously, I talked about the NCA tournament, which I also did a little bit of work for. It wasn't just all fun and games. I did actually uh, work a little bit of part of it and did some media days there as well. Um, just stuff like that. Um, my wife has also run into like some transportation deals. I'm, I'm not going to go too deep on that stuff because uh this just isn't the place for it but long story short we just got a transportation issue she's totally fine by the way i want to make that very very clear and clarified that she is 100 percent fine she's healthy she's happy we're doing all right but alas there's uh also been a little transportation deal that has also been a massive pain in the backside for us uh financially speaking but again you know what Life, it throws you curveballs, and you know, you just gotta find a way through it. And and we will. It's uh it's gonna take a little while, but you know what? We will. Um, just stuff like that. And I keep bumping the camera. I gotta bump this up so you guys can see. But um, outside in aquatics, uh, my day job, I am a sports writer for uh, the local newspaper here in Counts of Bluffs which I see Coro is backing me up there as well. Appreciate you. <laughs> yep, I am a sports writer here in Council Bluffs, which is basically a uh, neighboring town to Omaha, Nebraska. We have, uh, oh, let me think about that for a minute. We have uh, 11, no, 12, uh, a dozen awesome high schools that are very highly competitive throughout the state at various uh, levels. So yeah, that uh, that keeps me plenty busy by itself. <laughs> Come on, you guys, sink down. Woo! -hoo -hoo! That water is. Oh, 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 oh man! I made sure that we had some hot water in there, but oh boy! Oh wow, that is. Oh, oh, oh. yikes! What the hell is this? Is that dirt? What the heck? Well, that's interesting. Okay, well, I guess dirt's not going to do a whole heck of a lot of harm. I can't believe these things are floating, though. Sink, darn you! Yes, go down. Do, 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 do
slowly making its way down. Wonder why these wanted to float earlier. We'll have to relocate these later. You over there. Yeah. Hey, let go. Let go. Ooh, we, oh boy, yeah, we are getting a little close to that thing. Woo. Okay, where exactly are we? Yeah, let's bring those up. Because I don't want any water getting in this period. And we are going to kill the water. That is good enough. Got it. Now we're about an inch away from the grate or the vent there of the uh, overflow. That works for me. Whew. Got a little bit of dirt that's settling at the top. Apparently, I missed a little bit of it, but I guess that won't do too much harm. We can clear that out. Oh, I just got splashed by that cold water. Holy cold. All right. Holy, wow, that's cold. <laughs> that is very cold. We do have a heater, though, that we can also plug in with a sponge filter. Um, what we're going to also do is we'll connect it to a, one of our piston pumps we have down here. Because we do have a few of those starting to run. It's why I'm starting to walk away more from our individual... Uh, I'm getting away from those uh, individual pumps on the tanks, and I'm trying to run more like bigger pumps, which honestly I sh feel like I should have done a while ago. There we go. Oh man, that's chilly. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Um, obviously, in terms of aquascaping, we'll add a. Uh, <clears throat> we'll have more than just the plants here, but. Woo, Matt, you're in CB earlier, huh? Well, next time you're in CB, you'll have to check out uh, one of the new local fish store that actually just opened here on this side of the river. Obviously, I talked about all the ones on the Omaha side. But yes, Council Bluffs, we actually just got our first store on this side of the river. Uh, Zenny is heading out. All right, appreciate you coming in here, Zen. Saying. Got to go oh, for the evening, 11 o'clock p.m. Same thing here. Take care, y'all. Hey, Zen, you too. Good to see you here once again here as I uh, finally get back here again. And hope you have a good night. Thanks for all you do. Um, Whip. Uh, yeah, the FX5 is going to stay on the uh, 510. Um, we actually are going to have a sump tank run on uh, this tank tank here actually which is exactly what we had get done uh earlier today Let's see if i can grab this camera here and i'll show you guys the glorious plumbing once more let's get the light here so yeah we got it all plumbed up the only thing that's missing and the reason why i'm not filling it still all the way quite to the top yet is because we do not have a pump for that sump tank yet so uh 
there is no way to return the water back up to the tank yet. But once we get that, which I do have one going on the way, um, I could have ordered one from the local fish store, but to be quite frank and honest, uh, the the pump they wanted to charge me for was literally, um, well, I don't want to put a store in negative light. I guess it's not technically, but anyway, the store basically wanted to sell me a same uh, pump that I could see on Amazon for 87 for about 140 or 150 bucks. And as much as I want to support the local stores and such, it's like, I'm not going to pay double the price for the same dang pump. I'm just not going to do that. But, but still, uh, in terms of the plumbing though, a uh, big shout out to fish freaks in Omaha. Uh, we have been in their store here a couple times on the channel. In fact, it's where we've gotten a good number of the tanks around here, including the 185 bow front here. This tank actually was purchased from them. We got one of those dang plants floating again. What is the deal? But yeah, all the rest of them seem to be sinking though now. What is your deal over there? Huh? You over there. What is your deal? Why are you floating? I'm talking to an inanimate object. I am tired. <laughs> Oh boy. Uh Coro, yes, it is a DC pump. I was uh I was looking on uh Amazon though. They have like one of those Vivo I, what, what was the brand? I think it was like a Vivo Sun or something, which I have a similar pump running inside the um uh 510 to help run the pond canister filter. And uh, after two years, it's been working pretty solid. But yeah, it is a uh, it is a DC, or at least they were talking about like a DC sixteen hundred. But yeah, that's me. Nathan, don't think I said hi to you yet here this evening. Welcome aboard. But yeah, it it does suck because I mean, I. Look, I will say that I do get a lot of things off Amazon. Like all the plastic plants that you see in there, yeah, I got also from Amazon. Now the substrate, yeah, from fish stores and such. Like I do, well, obviously a lot of the substrates nowadays, I get like pool filter sand and play sand, as a lot of you know, from places like Home Depot, Lowe's, Menards, places like that, because <clears throat> it's it's almost the same thing as the pump. It's like, you're selling me sand. Like, I just need sand. <laughs> Whereas, like, even pool filter sand, like the fine grain sand there, you almost buy for 10 bucks for the price of what you would for a 50 pound bag of pool filter sand at Home Depot or something. So, I mean, it's just like, you know, you want to help out those stores, but it's hard to justify when you know you got price tags like that and know just like, hey, if I do it this way, I can save so much money and maybe even use that money towards other things towards this tank or another tank. But oh yeah, I'm sure those saying like yeah, they were all floating a moment ago. Now uh one, two, three, four, five of the six uh have sunk down. So I I have a lot of those plants from Amazon down here too. I've actually uh Got one in my Cross River tank. I got a couple in the uh, Angel, the 125 Angelfish tank. Yeah, they they eventually sink, so I'm not overly worried about them. But yeah. <laughs> Coro, yes. <laughs> and yeah, I'm with you. I hate billionaires as much as the next guy, but having worked and managed for small retails, the owners are dry. Yeah, unfortunately, some of them, and I mean, for most most things, uh, our local fish stores are pretty good. It's just one of those things where it's like, this thing may not be as much of a name brand, but, you know, it still does the job. And as long as it's not, you know, a total, you know, POS, then, you know, as long as it does the job, that's all, that's the main thing that I care is like, you know, hey. I just want something that's, you know, not going to break on me in a year or two and is going to do the job and do it efficiently. And as long as it does that, I don't care if it's from Fluval, Seachem, or 
an Amazon name brand or maybe even a brand that I no one has ever heard of. But as long as it does the job and is reliable, that's all I want. <laughs> Holy crud. Oof. Got to check on my cyclones here real quick. Based on how the game is mostly gone tonight, I am skeptical. Ooh, actually, Iowa State's only down four with about five and a half to go. Interesting. Okay, they're right there. Let's see if they can do something about it. You know, because when I was watching them on TV before I came down here to do the live stream, it, uh, yeah, it uh, they weren't doing so hot. But again, I know not all of y'all are sports fans, so I'll bore you. The, I'll uh, spare you the details. But look who's over here once again. How are you doing? You're just thirsty for attention, aren't you? Are you gonna try to bite my finger? He sometimes likes to do that. He likes to chase after my finger once in a while. Sometimes he does. Sometimes he doesn't. Uh, yeah, I have seen that too, but even like local fish stores, I mean, some local fish stores are better because sometimes they do that package stuff and does help bring the price down considerably. But like I say, even there, I mean, the problem is though, they don't get like the very fine grain sandwich. Obviously, I guess with Oscars is not as big of a deal, but like, for example, my Mabu puffer, my Fajaka puffer, um, the Cross River puffer, I'll, any of my puffers really. Uh, yeah, I want to put them in a tank where, yeah, I can give them sand. And honestly, when it comes to puffers, I always say the finer grain of sand you can get them, the better. So, I mean, it's honestly why nowadays if I set up any uh, tank for any of my puffers down the road here, it's always going to be pool filter sand. Unless it's not available, then my second go-to is play sand. And then if you really, really want to, you can take out some of the bigger rocks. But even then, it's it's still fine grain enough. They're not going to dig where there's big rocks. They're, they're intelligent enough to know better than that. <laughs> uh, J-Rock does stuff. What a handle. I love it, though. <laughs> What's up, Fantastic? Don't think I've ever been in a stream before. Hey, well, now you have. Welcome aboard. <laughs> Hey, uh, asking Whip if he ever gave Ken's fish a try. Right on. Okay, uh, let's see here. Nathan, uh, the local fish store I go to is starting to give me better prices for stuff because I've sold them fish a handful of times now, so we have that loyalty relationship building. Yeah, I've sometimes wondered that, you know, maybe if I actually tried breeding some fish down here, which I have thought about. The only thing is, again, and I mean, stop me if you've heard this reason before, you go back to the day job and such there, and it's just a matter of, unfortunately, I just don't get the time to do it. I would love to because, heck yeah, I, I would love to try to breed some of my angelfish I have down here because, heck, I know some of my family members would probably buy I from me, let alone give them to some of the fish stores here. Or, I mean, it's, I would love to give a shot. And I mean, especially since I hear that it's not overly hard compared to some other fish that you may try to breed. But overall, it's just, it's just something I haven't had the time for, unfortunately. Somewhere down the road, though, definitely will try to fix that. But, man, it's still not been... Uh, Things calm down, and then they speed up again, and it's a cycle. <laughs> and yes, I am still totally also keeping an eye on the one game here, too. I could turn it on my YouTube TV here, but I feel like that would be uh, annoying for all of you, so we all, we'll avoid that. <laughs> all right. 
do I want to get the heater up and running before I uh, get the uh, sponge filter in there? I guess it really doesn't matter too terribly much, though, does it? <laughs> get, the, get the heater running, says Coro. All right, we'll get that running first. All right. Ouch. What the heck was that? Oh. No. Oh, I just re realized something that made it the job a lot harder. I am a fool. I am such a fool. Oh, I didn't put a power strip back there before, before I pushed the tank back and filled it with water. I mean, I can still probably get back there, no problem, but definitely makes it a little more difficult. Uh, be right back. Now I have another one somewhere. Where did it go? Where did it go? It hurts, honestly. Did I put that power strip? I thought I had it around here. Oh, that's annoying. I honestly can't believe I forgot to put plug that stinking thing in first. Kind of frustrating that I didn't, honestly. I have another one upstairs. Why is that pointing downward? Okay. Oh, wait a minute. I think I might know where I have one. It's not the one I was initially going to use, but it should work.
be searching off camera for that uh, power strip. Yeah, this is a uh, fantastic uh, video stuff here. <laughs> it's just enthralling uh, video here. Well, I'm not going to plug in then another one just yet for that, because I know we have some open plugs down there. Unfortunately, though, our heater has a very, very short cord. So, I have to use an extension cord on top here. Probably put that light, please. Okay, that should be good right there. So we're gonna set that thing diagonal. Try to set it diagonal. Or you know what, you can just do whatever the hell you want. I don't know. Please. <laughs> okay. Man, that water is cold though. <laughs> We're going to bring y'all over here. We'll kill that light here real quick. I'll get this set up here. Have yeah, a little bit as I get this baby set up. Let's kill that light, though, shall we? All right. Woo, a little dusty under there. Woo. Oh, man. Is that... Is that lit up? Are we getting anything out of you? Let's not put our phone on top of the light. Uh oh. Well, that might. Oh, I haven't used this heater in a hot bit, but that heater might have bit the dust. Hmm. All right. Well, fortunately, I have a plan B.
Ooh. All right. Well, that one won't work, which might be for the better because 500 watts is a lot of power. Oh, yeah, that thing is dirty. Nothing. If that was radiating any heat right now, that thing should be a little warm coming out of the water. And nothing. Absolutely nothing. All right, let's uh, set this where we need it to be. All right, there's that much. Put it in the water. We'll uh, see if. This one's only a 300 watt rather than 500, but I would imagine should still uh, help us out here. Well, at least lighting up, unlike the other one. It is. Okay. Which tells me it's at least going to do some work. All right, maybe I got another heat or two that may help things along here later on if need be, but right now, Do I throw one of my preset heaters in there? You know what? I'm going to say no. The biggest one over there is 100 watts, and that ain't going to do jack. You, other plant, sink down. There you go. All right. Well, we got a heater working in there now. That's nice. All right. Let's see, haven't looked at the chat here too long. KJE Aquatics, don't think I said hi to you earlier. Welcome aboard. <laughs> See, we got some fun in the chat here, of course. I almost wish I could find a way to put another heater in there to help that 300 watt out, but... I guess that uh, is better than having nothing in there. It's going to make that 300 watt work all night long, but <laughs> it'll warm up the water a little bit. We'll have to get like another, I don't know, we might have to go and get another three or something.
this could almost be a killer screensaver, couldn't it? Just looking at the uh just looking at the 510. I know I don't get tired of it. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, might get some mangrove roots burnt into the screen. Uh, but yeah, it's worth it. They're somewhat scenic. Uh, Nathan, I believe the mangrove roots uh, come in different sizes. Well, these ones here I have were classified as extra large. But I think, well, actually, funny enough, I know we talked about Amazon earlier. I think they actually sell mangrove roots on there that I guess technically come from ZoomEd. So I guess it's seen on Amazon, but technically sell, sold by ZoomEd, I believe. That, um, yeah, I think they have different sizes. So you probably could get something for a 55. Or do as like what Coro here says. And yeah, you could cut them in half. That would work too. Shady, yeah, it's kind of what I went for. I wish the... Tetras would go and swim through it there sometimes, but our forest there, and you could really see why I <laughs> got what I did. I am debating about maybe still putting maybe one more root there, like a thinner one down the middle there. Just, I don't know. Seems a little bare there for some reason. I feel like it needs something, but yeah, I do like uh, watching them uh, 
swims through, and especially when the Tetras weave through it, it's a uh, it's pretty cool. Mac here still tries to weave through it every once in a while. Hence why you'll see uh, some of the mangrove root sticks are lying on the substrate because sometimes if he gets stuck, what he'll do is he'll chomp it to make himself a path, which I guess is good because I don't want him to get stuck either. But it's like, hey, here's an idea. Maybe don't try to swim through them. You're getting a little too big. <laughs> <laughs> hey there you go so yeah i already ordered a pump off of amazon uh not too long ago that hopefully should be here sometime tomorrow and then i hope i can get that stump fully working and such and uh hopefully everything there runs as it should and uh yeah hopefully then we can get this thing fully up and running and get the cycle fully working Um, I guess, well, it's not just the pump. I do need to put some uh, more media in there. I got some sponge uh, pads in the deal already. I do need to put some filter media in there, though. Um, I have a buttload of Matrix from, obviously, Seachem, of course, that I can put in there. But uh, I don't know. I feel like I should get something else. Like, I like to put different forms of media in there, like, Obviously, I'll put like a little bag of carbon, of course. Or, well, maybe not, well, not little, but you know, some carbon in shape, wear form. Um, different stuff. Just a bunch of different stuff. Uh, so that we can have uh, the sump working to its maximum potential or hot, higher potential. <laughs> because the whole reason why we're doing this is because. Some new filtration or not, the goal still seems the same. I still want it to still be big enough to where you know, if I I don't have to do uh water changes all the dang time, like once every week or whatever. Well, I mean, I guess sometimes if you have to, you have to, but boy, it it'd be preferred if I don't have to. Every two weeks, no problem. Like, honestly, I guess if you went a little bit over two weeks, then or without at least seeing where your parameters are at, then, yeah, then you might be asking for trouble. But
All right. Well, there is technically one more thing we can do. We could tech. We still have a, uh, a sponge filter that we can throw in there. Although part of me is also debating, like, do I want to throw the sponge filter in there when the water is that chilly? But uh oh, look at this. Ooh, it's a haunted plant slowly rising to the top of the aquarium. Ooh, super scary. <laughs> well, they were all, all but one of them were sunk, but now we have three of them up and somewhat floating again. Awesome. <laughs> ah, whatever, they'll sink anyway eventually at some point. Uh, I don't know. Maybe we also just, just put an air stone in there today. I also don't know if I really should put a sponge filter in there when the water is that cold. Because let me tell you, that that water, guys, is chilly. <laughs> Def, definitely nowhere near the 70s that we were aiming for. Well, that 300 water... 300 watt heater seems to be doing some work in there. That water already feels a little better. Definitely not to the point where it's like super cold. <laughs> oh, I got another heater here. How big are you? You are broken. Doesn't matter. Why do I still have a broken heater? Throw that away. Get that out of here. All right, now where did I put all my airline tubes at? Ooh, well, there's an air stone. That's a star. Very good. I might just throw an air stone in there for tonight, just so we get some aeration to help things out a little bit. That ain't big enough. Yep. All right, that could help. All right. Am I going to have to get more uh, airline tubing here soon? Seems possible. This is all I got. This is kind of sad. <laughs> uh, I guess I have more. Where did I put it? Aha! Knew I had more. <laughs> All right. To slowly unravel all of the airline.
Indeed. There you go. Ooh, I might have said a little bit more on that than was necessary, but it'll work. Oh, oh, that Come on. Why are you not bubbling? Okay, but your bubble there. Hairstyle. What's wrong with hairstyle? Oh, shit. Oh, no, I did not just drop that behind the thing. Blended. All right. This one's actually funky. I do not like it when my hair is actually funky. Ooh, this could be good. All right. Scoot y'all over here. See what I'm up to. All right. So we have. Some aeration going in here. I think I might wait until the water heats up a bit before we uh, throw in the um, uh, before we throw in the sponge filter. Oh, are you not gonna stick on that? Come on! 
Aw, come on. Why are you not sticking on there? Come on. Come on. All right, well, I'm not breaking the heater. Screw it. It's diagonal as is. We'll leave it alone for now. <laughs> Worry about it later. Now. Now. Can I find one more air stone? Because I would like to throw one over on the other side there, too. Because even if I'm not putting any beneficial bacteria in there, aeration would still be good. There we go, send that down just a little deeper. Are all my other air stones? God knows I have so many. I need to try something that may be cool and may suck. This could be cool. Let's give this a shot, shall we? Oh, be good to me, air hose. Well, that's not going as I was hope, hoped it would. Eh, bummer. Oh, well. It was worth a try. What if I just have one too many? Or just a couple too many? It's probably a more likely scenario. Wow, that one sucks. Okay. 
That water is so very cold. And it does not feel good when it runs it down your shirt. No, thank you. It is still too dang cold. I want to see a multitude of bubbles. Let me see my bubbles. There. Crying out loud. Nope. Come here. I'm not finished with you. I'll show you what is well. Nope. Rats. Ah, look at all the bubbles. Is it down? Like, is the water pressure too much? Like, right there, it works fine. But if I drop it, well, that's kind of a bummer. I thought that looked kind of cool. Yeah, the higher it gets, the more so it gets. Do I have a kink in the house? Is that maybe limiting our air supply? Is someone tampering the oxygen level? All right, Austin, you are going to soak this poor little t-shirt. Ugh. Why do you keep flipping? Quit flipping. Quit flipping, flipping. Oh, it's getting there. Hold on. Let's sit back and see if this thing catches up. I'm noticing it's starting to get a little bit of bubbles towards the middle. Oh, is it going to get there? Come on. Come on, I believe in you. You can do it. Doesn't look like it's moving so much over there anymore. Well, we wanted to add aeration. We got aeration. <laughs> All right. Yeah, Shady Gray, it looks like yeah, not enough air pressure. I guess that is definitely one thing about it. Hmm. Yeah. Uh-oh. Hold up. I bumped the camera. That is no good. Give me just a minute. I'll get our camera going again. Whoa. Hello. That's not the cam right camera, though. Oh, come on. There we go. That's better. Sorry about that, guys. Not sure what happened there. I guess, yeah, we are putting this on a pump that technically... 
is running through our um, uh, other tanks, such as the 75s that you see next to it. And it's also, I think, running one of the sponges in our 125 as well. So it would make sense if it were not getting enough water pressure. Or water pressure, good Lord, air pressure, rather. Now, let's see here. Let's see. Did I miss anybody else here? Ah, I see we had Renee coming in here earlier. If you're still aboard, Renee, welcome aboard. Or if you've left already, thank you for coming aboard. <laughs> yeah, it's getting about the third of the way through the bigger bar there, and that's about all it's going to give us. Well, I guess it's giving us air right now. Not as much air as I would like, though. Yeah, we're barely getting any surface agitation out of that. We were better off the way we were. Let's see here. I tinker with this just a little bit more so that maybe, just an, oh, maybe, we can uh, sort this out and get a little more air pressure. I don't know why I have those anymore. Those are garbage. Oh. oh, of course, I don't need a air stone anymore. I find two more inside this stand here. Right there. I know I got a plethora of them. It's just a matter of figuring out where the heck they are. All right. Mm. Let's see if I can tinker with this a little bit more. I can also now remember which one it was. No vibrating sounds allowed down here. Okay, where'd that end go? Uh, 
All right, we'll see if this helps once I get it on there. Oh boy, did that spark. Oh, baby, look at that. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, I am so happy that works because, man, I don't want to go under there again. Yeah. <laughs> Whoop. Let's turn it out the other way. Eventually, I'll get the orientation right here. Oh, yeah. Look at that. More power. That is better. Who man. Uh, Shady Grady, um, I'm not sure exactly how to explain it. It's similar to a piston pump sort of thing. Um, I can show you a picture of it here. Or that would probably explain it a lot better than I could ever explain it by words, probably. Oh boy. So when so the thing is the thing is when I built this stand, I did not give myself a whole ton of room to uh put myself underneath the stand and mess with anything if I needed to. Don't get me wrong, I can still move my hands down there, no problem. Like if any of the hoses end up getting off centered or leak a little bit, I can definitely get at those and do what I have to do, no problem. But in terms of like crouch underneath like I was there. It is, uh, yeah, it, there is not a whole lot of space to do so. And it kind of crunches your body a little bit. And it does not feel too good. <laughs> it is quite uncomfortable. Uh, I just realized it is about a quarter after midnight here. We've been streaming over two hours. God bless, man. I had no idea we were going that long. Yeah, linear piston pump might uh, might be a good way to describe it. Um, okay, see if I can find it. Aha, there it is. All right, there you go. That's what I got right there, if I can get it to focus. Those are the pumps I start using down here, but not quite as many air spigots. Yeah, the ones I have, I don't have the 12 outlets. I only do eight because I feel like, yeah, if I did uh, 12, then we'd really be taking a lot of water pressure. Or I got to quit saying water pressure, air pressure. 
And yeah, that would be uh, a... <laughs> At that point, then, we're doing more harm than good. <laughs> Coral. Uh, Coral asks, can we go another 15? Yeah, we can go another 15. Yeah, you know what? What the heck not? Yeah, let's make it two and a half hours. We can, we can go till 1230. It's kind of mesmerizing to look at. It. Oh, that thing is starting to rise. Let's keep that thing from rising. I'm gonna maybe bury that in sand a little bit. See if we can weigh that thing down a bit. Step ladder over here. All right. Do not worry. Yeah, it's sprinkled up a little bit on the light, but there is a plastic cover on this protecting the light, which is good. I even think I might bring the light up a little bit because I might dig in here and see if there's a way like I can put like little miniature hooks on there so I can just put it up there. But all right. Now, while we're up here, I don't know why it's bothering me, but it is. <laughs> it's like, dang, plants sink. Uh, the plants can hopefully stay the heck down as well. Oh, that's chilly though. Man, that's chilly. That water is definitely getting a little warmer. As I say, as a little stream of it goes down my side. Ooh. Doesn't feel so warm though when it goes down your side like that though. Yeah, do work little heater, do work. It's getting there, though. It's definitely warmer than it was a half hour ago. Still got a ways to go, but it's getting there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, look at that. Well, that step ladder isn't very photogenic. Let's uh, get that out of here. Ooh, that is cold. Your shirt, though, man. My right side is soaked, y'all. <laughs> I got another shirt in there. I do not. Oh, well. 
Oh, well. Jeff, that is very true. Not all linears are quiet. I will say this. The pumps I get, they are definitely not the most quiet. However, <laughs> they uh, they do enough of the job, fortunately. I guess also, I also figure when this is all happening down here and I'm upstairs, it's like, meh, I don't need it to be uh, super quiet. As long as it's not rubbling, you know, vibrating up against some wood or whatever, I'm all right. Oh, man. Well, we'll have to get a sponge in there somewhere, too. But i got to tell you, that's not a bad look. <laughs> At least so, I think. Uh, I'll probably put a net through the top there at some point to scoop out some of that floating dirt and crud up there. But eh, he expect I expected a little bit of that because in the end you can wash the sand again and again and again and again, and chances are there's still going to be a little something left in it. We'll get it out of there though. So something I've also thought about maybe doing on the channel here once in a while, guys, for a late night streaming, I've thought about possibly just doing streams where we do it something like kind of like the style of what we're doing now, where I just put the um, uh, camera on one of the tanks here and we just chat, hang out, whatever. I just turn the camera towards one of the tanks while I look at the chat. And uh, I thought about maybe doing that for some late night streams, maybe down the road. If some of y'all are interested in that, by all means, feel free to let me know in the live chat, the comments. And yeah, maybe down the road here, once uh, we get things rolling, we might have to do that here down the road. I guess we could call that a mellow Monday musings or something. I don't know. Well, if we even do it on Monday, I don't know. I, I don't, wouldn't necessarily have to be on Monday, I guess. It could be on any day, I guess.
Koro, yeah. Uh, Aqua Miracle pumps are... That's actually the most... Uh, I think that's the brand of the pumps that I've gotten a lot of them from here. All the ones I showed a moment ago. Yeah, the fact that different controls, multiple valves, it's nice. Sure beats a, you know, like if you got like four or five aquariums, beats, you know, just having the one pump that can generate that much air for like, say, I don't know, 30, 40 watts or say, versus, you know, using four or five individual pumps, saves a lot of power. You may think that sometimes using those bigger ones that it may not, but yeah, it can actually, yeah, <laughs> it can actually save a great deal of power. I, wife and I have definitely noticed that our electric bill has gone down uh, a recognizable amount ever since I started putting more of those pumps down here and uh, getting less and less individual pumps down here. All right, getting close to that two and a half hours. Vivo Sun is another one I see there occasionally, Jay. Yeah, the V. Yeah, that's kind of what I was showing you there, Coro. Although uh, when you mentioned Aqua Miracle, um, I do know that uh, yeah, I do know that uh, Aqua Miracle makes the same kind of pump too. It's mostly Aqua Miracle and Vivo Sun that make the two, and I have a mixture of the two. Both of them work obviously very, very similar. I think one of one of the other just kind of differences in. Uh, gallons per hour nothing that's really gonna really steer you one way or the other but i don't know i think they both work good square and flat yep <laughs> that's pretty much what they are they're kind of well i guess i wouldn't say they're so much flat i would say they're kind of box like shape <clears throat> Good Lord. Okay, here's something I got to show y'all. Browsing around on Google here a bit. Look at the size of those air stones. Four by two inch air stones. Like four inches long, two inches wide. Sheesh. Who needs air stones that big? Like at that point, I'd just be like, good Lord, just put do like what we're doing and here right now and just get yourself a strip or like an air disc or something instead. I don't know. That, that'd be me anyway. But Yeah. 
Uh, I see Jay didn't. Jay, you didn't see the pump I was showing earlier? I can pull it up here again. Well, maybe I can. Where the heck did it go? There we go. Yeah, these are the ones I've been starting to put down here. Whoop. Let's actually zoom that out just a little bit there. Come on, camera, focus. And that is the Vivo Sun, by the way. Yeah, the Vivo Sun, I think the 32 watt does about 950 gallons per hour, and it's about 32 bucks. But they also have like another one. They have like a 50 watt one that can do 1,110 gallons per hour. And if you really want to go nuts, they have a 102 watt one that can do uh, 1,750. Yeah, I don't know, just those pumps. I've been starting to go more and more towards them. And yeah, I would definitely say if you're looking for a quiet pump, though, I will tell you now, these are not that. <laughs> I mean, they're not, un at least by my standards, I don't think they're super loud, but they are still a powerful pump. So they do generate a little bit of noise. So if that's going to bother you, then yeah, then maybe, maybe stay clear of them. But if you don't so much care about a little slight buzzing noise, then yeah, they do fantastic. Hmm. All right. Looking at the chat here while also browsing through my uh, Amazon here. <laughs> Uh, Jeff, uh, don't remember my Amazon brand, but it was hot and extremely loud for low performance. It might become a pond aerator one day. Yeah, I'd like to know what brand you have there. Because, I mean, yeah, I do have some that can get hot. You definitely don't want to put anything that can melt or potentially catch fire over them. But I guess, yeah, that is one thing. They definitely can get warm. None of uh, most of mine though down here don't get hot to the point where it's dangerous, but they definitely do get a little warm to the touch. And they can um uh 
definitely like i said though yeah they definitely do make noise though Oh, so yours did get to the point of hot, so do not touch. Yeah, well then, yeah, that's a problem. <laughs> I mean, you definitely don't want any fire hazards. Uh, mine, the ones I have down here, like I say, they definitely get pretty warm, but they don't get that bad. They don't get anywhere near that bad. Because, yeah, if they get that bad, then I'm like, nope, 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 nope. Unplugging you, you're done. <laughs> I'm just. Whatever the probability is, maybe it's low, but I'm just like, I do not care. I'm not messing with it. It only takes one screw up, and I'm not going to give it even the chance. Uh, Jay says, I got a 14-year-old pump from Marineland the other day. Brand new at Goodwill. Came home and can't find a single thing about it. Like it didn't exist. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, Matt, that's the ones that I usually get. I like to get the uh, 1100s. I know it's technically 1,110, but I call them just 1100s. Um, I like to get the 1100s that way. You know, more power then. Um, I see you also mentioned the Viva Home uh, 950. I mean, I got one of those too, and it still does pretty good. Like I say, they are a little noisy and they definitely do get a little warm to the touch. I wouldn't say scolding to the touch, but, or not scolding, scalding rather, dang it, but. Uh, Matt also says, I stopped using them a year or two ago. And now have a linear from co-op. I might even go that route someday. Right now I'm all right with what I got, but I say as long as it doesn't get super hot to the touch where it's dangerous. And, you know, it, uh, you know, it aerates my tanks enough to the point where, you know, fish can breathe. And if I got plants in there that they are doing all right, then that that's the main thing I want. As long as it does the job, then I'm all right with it. <laughs> oh, there you go. Uh, Jay, it's called the Marineland Airmaster 3000. It almost sounds like something someone would sell on TV. Hey, hey, new for you aquarium nerds, the American. Made Marineland Airmaster 3000. Don't know if Marineland's actually American made. I don't know. That just kind of came out, but. <laughs> Hey, you should, Jay. Absolutely. I mean, if there's not info on it, like you said earlier, if it's hard to find, yeah, let people know what you know. You'd be surprised. Some pe people love that stuff. Tell them what you know. Oh, boy. I'm going to have to hit the bed here soon, though, guys. 
I'm a uh... Woo boy. I keep yawning now. I'm getting tired. <laughs> well, we hit the extra 15 minutes for Coral there. So yeah, I never did see what is our temp in this tank currently. That's actually a good thing to look at here probably before I um, I do have a thermometer over here. According to our thermometer over here. Wow. Hold up. I'm surprised we're even at that. We're at about 71 degrees. Much too chilly for Oscars currently, but we'll get it there. I set the heater to try to get it up to like 78 to 80. So we'll uh, see what it does. All right. Yep. I see a whole bunch of guys and girls here starting to say that they're getting ready to hit the hay themselves. So you know what, guys? Yeah, we've gone well over two and a half hours, guys. I'm going to go ahead and call it. Uh, Got to get up in the morning here yet. I had to drive the wife to work here. Do work myself tomorrow. So, guys, appreciate every single one of y'all. Um, perhaps once we uh, transfer the Oscars over here, we'll maybe do another stream on that or so. Um, obviously, uh, I'll do a video kind of talking about this tank here soon. And, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll kind of have a video kind of updating of the projects here in the fish room about you know, moving everything around and updating that basically everything now is finally in its place. And of course, uh, that we're finally after holding this tank empty and just collecting dust for about four years. In fact, it was a little bit over four years. Yeah, we finally got water in this and we're about to get this baby cycled. <laughs> I'll probably go ahead and drop the uh, sponge in there sometime tomorrow, depending on how well the heater does overnight. If it can get it back up to the mid or higher 70s, I'll probably go ahead and drop the sponge in. And uh, yeah, we'll get this baby rolling. Um, otherwise, some other things you can look forward to. Yeah, I am going to be at the Quad City Fish Swap. Um, as a reminder, that is not this Sunday. It'll be a week from this Sunday. Um, I know some others. I believe Sarah, a.k.a. Skeddy Nona, I think she's going. I believe uh, Peplin Creek Aquatics and Foxy are both going. In fact, I believe they are going to be vendors there. Um, I don't think Victoria is going to make this one, or at least I didn't see her on the vendor list. Um, yeah, I know last time I was there, I saw Whip. I know I saw you there last time, among some others. I know Skull Aquatics has talked about getting there. It's a... Uh, It's going to be a fun one. Uh, <laughs> grab a boatload of the Plecos. Well, that may not be for me, Matt, but honestly, my father wouldn't mind probably taking a cup full of Plecos lately, or at least he once upon a time said that. I'm not sure where he's at with that now. That was a couple months ago when he said that. But, oh, well, yeah, that said, guys, uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit it. I am yawning up a storm here, guys. But, uh, yeah, I am going to. Hit the hay here. Uh, but like I say, I'll drop the sponge filter in there so that we can officially get the cycling process here going. Hopefully the pump comes in tomorrow as it's scheduled to so I can officially uh, get the sump running here in the near future too. I might let the sponge filter run a day or two before actually getting the sump itself going. And uh, yeah, or, or it's on the horizon. All right, guys. Yep. I'm going to go ahead and hit the hay here. Appreciate all y'all coming in here. And of course, appreciate all the patience. I know, like I've said a couple times before, it's uh, <laughs> it has been uh, a while and far and in between from whenever I post or do any sort of video. But yeah, it's going it, to, at some point, I promise, I'm going to try to get this, uh, this uh, out to this posting out of content a little more frequent or at least a little more frequent than three, four weeks. 
at least. Uh, that, that's the goal here. All right, guys. Until next time, thanks for all the support. An extra thank you to all the members, the awesome moderators, Liquid Zilly Fins, Zen Ginger, my wife, Mrs. Freak, of course, Peplin Creek Aquatics, and the Fish Fam Link for uh, helping me run things here. And once more, special thanks to all the members and uh, listeners, lurkers, whatever you are. Appreciate every one of y'all. Replay crew as well. Leave a comment. I will see you all in the next video, whenever that is. <laughs> Until next time, folks. Stay fantastic.